Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 in our quest to reunite the Holy Roman Empire. We, in the last episode, defended ourselves from some wars and mostly watched other people go to war. But we also created our own cadet branch of our family, so we are now the head of this family. Only has a level of splendor of insignificant, but that will improve itself with time. Now we have a, a perk here to spend, and we're going to grab the Seducer trait, which we've basically not used, but hey, we're going to grab it. Because we're there. Because we can. Powerful Vasco is expecting position. Yeah, see, our queen tried to kill us, which is pretty awkward. She's a drunk and a recluse and irritable. Wow. And sadistic and wrathful. Ambitious and paranoid. I don't remember why I married her. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out why... Why I did, but uh, I'm sure there was a good reason. I will pretend that. Oh, will we get the pop-up for this in the next episode, even though we did it in the last one. Wait, and now we're the dynasty head of the original family. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We have this family now. Uh, so we're actually pretty close to being able to feudalize one of our pieces of land, which would be nice. So maybe we'll save up for that. Uh, we need those resources for the troops. If small, if one small village in Zerden has to starve, the heated argument between my counselors follows me out the room. And Count Mathis, the representative from Zerden, greets me with tight eyes as I approach. Yeah, the decree will force them to leave you alone. You gain 50 intrigue, gains encouraged improvements, and someone likes me less. Or we gain prestige, increased levies, an abandoned village. Now we'll take the, the growth. We're trying to build up. Uh, that wall was one, which is good. I would like my land back at some point. I'm curious. They have one kid. Let's give this a try. I don't know if I can turn this into... Uh, if I can turn this into us having some sway over that or maybe because it will be our dynasty it will improve it will improve our uh, prestige or no our renown gain but let's give it a try we want to romance or seduce or seduce 25 she loves her husband dislikes brave dislikes trusting dislikes just like paranoid. Okay, well we'll give this a try, but let's let's be honest, that's not it's not a pretty good success rate. Okay, five hundred. So we're gonna fix one of these lands. We'll fix this one. Utilize. Excellent. Gives us a better castle, more garrison, more levies from the place. Uh, it's the right type to run, so in theory, uh, tax and everything should be better. Then we can build buildings on it now. Now we gotta save up and fix the other one. Uh, how should I approach Countess? She seems very reserved individual who prefers silence as a companion. At least that's how she appears on the surface. Who knows what sort of person she is in private, as she may... Is she meek and submissive or perhaps passionate and fiery? I'll find out once I have breached her stony exterior. For now, I have to decide how to myself remain in her thoughts after spending some time alone. Be as gallant and charming as possible. Uh, you think Turden is the type of person who prefers gentle lovers, so we'll approach her as a friend. So, be gallant or a friend. She is content, callous, paranoid, also pregnant. Uh, I really don't know, actually. I figured there's some logic behind this, but I really don't know. So we'll, we'll be getting one. Oh, she liked it. That's a good sign. 
Uh, Renown. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. That is a crashed game. Not not quite what I was expecting. But it's what happened. I'll be curious when uh, the recording thing picks back up the game. I'm looking at the loading screen now. There you go. You can look at the lovely ponies as we reload. I could have cut this out, but hey. So the amusement. It's all because there's a patch in two days. That's why. Okay. <laughs> We're back in. I want to try and imprison my wife. Still very tempted. I don't know what goes wrong if, it, if I don't. I'm going to try it. She's not a great queen anyway. Thirty percent though is not good. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Didn't expect expect that to work. Can't request divorce. Why not? Minus fifty reluctance. The Pope doesn't like me. So if we were to sway the Pope. Oh, we can't do that in the seduction. Okay, we'll, we'll still go back to that. What we also should probably do is go on a pilgrim the next game we can. How parity gain is terrible. Honestly, we might be better off without kid. Uh, my vassal, Prince Bishop Franco, has a arrived uh, at court with a banged arm and a hunger for vengeance. He tells me my son has been ram running rampage, rampage all over Bowman. Uh, he fancies himself a duelist. He turned up at my doorstep and challenged me in front of everyone. Uh, I had no choice but to accept. This is not the first time either. I am but the last in a long line of victims. Uh, the duels will cease at once. Bishop likes me. Why are you challenging a bishop? That seems not okay. I mean, it, you know, I'm not super familiar with, you know, the rules of the Catholic Church in this era, but I can't help but feel like challenging bishops to duels is a mistake. Uh, my prince dislikes me. Um, a dangerous pass down, you need an instructor. Bishop dislikes me, I lose gold, but he gains inspiring blade master. My son and knight. Or, oh, but your father will show you how it's done. 56% I defeat him. 43% I lose. Let's try it. I lost the duel. <laughs> I mean, it was a 50-50 odd. So we lost some Renet prestige. And he's going to keep causing problems. <laughs> Oh well. I'm just enjoying peace in the land for a little bit out with our horrible looking kingdom. Wait, East Frankia broke. Interesting. Good for me. But interesting. There's a little West Frank here in the middle. But at some point, I don't know why I'm slowing down at high speed instead of going up. Uh, claim on Wolof. For months, uh, the bishop has been digging up superior contracts and fabricating history. Oh, and fabricated histories. Now he dares act as if it all amounts to a claim. So someone took a claim on me. I'm not particularly concerned. Rude, not particularly concerned. That's, I've messed up. I really messed up East Frankia. Like East Frankia is up here and down there. Oh well, we made our choices. What's our new pop-up? Ask your head of faith for gold. Emptying, emptying. 
but I would rather a divorce. We'll circle back to that. A uh, reading from the celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Countess uh, Deirdria suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrived, wondering what the guests would like to hear. I see my chance to impress her. Uh, we're at 40% chance of success. Something pious. Something entertained. Something informative. Alice content. I don't see someone particularly religious. The loading's okay. I don't really know what to base it on, but I'm taking I'm taking guesses. Um Let's be entertained, riddle poles. Uh, okay, let's be entertained. Basically a, a complete guess, but hey, maybe it will work out. Uh, didn't we just do this? Didn't we just do this? I don't remember. Oh wait, was that not the person I thought I was seducing? Or other people seducing me? I, I was, was I not paying enough attention? This seems like the same name. This seems like the same thing. We'll go with entertained again. That was that was odd. First the game crashes, which I don't think I've ever had before, and then now I'm stuck in a loop of reading to this lady. Which is the wrong lady. Wait, it's the right lady. I'm just crazy. Okay. Uh, keep going with Let's Be Entertained. Scheme that seems quite glitched. Uh, tonight, for the dozenth time, I find myself lounging next to a guttering fire with Arthur. Her company just feels so natural. It's easy. It's like she's been staying in Prague. Agreed to stay permanently, then the long, lazy evenings could last forever, of course, with the right nudge. Let me show you just how hospitality can be. 53% chance she's enthralled. We lay with her. Go close to forming an intimate relationship. Joins our court. Just ask and I'll fetch the moon itself. She gets a hook on me. Oh, we'll go for it. 53% chance. She's enthralled. Okay. I don't know that it gains me much, but hey, we're sticking with our character type, which is not a good human being. There's nothing, this guy, not a good human being, but hey. Uh, reactions to my advances tell me everything I need to know. The time has come. Really? At a 40% chance success rate? Sure. As the shadows lengthen, I find concern in the darkness beneath the castle wall waiting for me. She comes towards me, hastily at first, and then eagerly. I hear her breath quicken as I pull her close. In the shades of the wall, we make love. And God's patrolling above, oblivious to our position, oh, our passion. Uh, once more becomes our, because we were trying. Yeah, okay. Come lovers. Trying to get our dynasty on the, on the East Frazier. Wait. No, that's not. Our daughter's married over there. Oh no, it's this kingdom. Here we go. No, nope. I'm losing my mind. What is going on? Relationships. Oh, it's the person who owns. Wow, my, I, I'm like really scattered all over the place with my thoughts with these videos. Apparently I just completely forgot how to play Crusader Kings. You don't like me that much, for valid reasons, honestly. Uh, do I want gold from you? I know I was saving up, but I'm going to take gold from you, and then I'm going to start swaying you. We'll see where that goes. And our sister can marry, who is wounded 
<laughs> he is in rough shape. Matrilineal. Uh, we'll do that. Matrilineal is good because then it stays in our dynasty. And we can spread our people out more. I'm really not gaining parity at this point. I am feeling like out becoming out heir would be very handy to us. Grant a title. Can't give you anything. Oh, I can give you that. Which I think is the one that isn't... Oh no, I did turn that. So the reason I want to give him land is I want him to stop prepping... Like, building renown, building money, building skills, right, on his own. So we're going to do that, even though it weakens us a little bit. But I think that's really good. How's our cultural fascination going? What do we got? About 13 years? We're going to start. We're going to try and churn through some... We're going to We're gonna try and churn through some uh, time here. We'll take the injury challenge. I'm not going to think about it. We just want to burn through a little bit of time. Which helps if I'm unpaused. Do I have an alliance with you? No, thank you. Under troops? I don't need an alliance with you. Uh, Lavin has returned from his adventures as a stronger man. Oh, our duelist. Has happened. He gained wounded aspiring blade master in fame. Cool. New puck. We'll keep going down. Keep going down the schema. Ah, uh, yeah, brave is useful. Uh, send for a physician. No, we're. Ooh. Okay, we're going to instead of paying for someone to come in, we're gonna go to court. We're gonna go to loading. And apparently, we're gonna make our own son who's injured the court physician, who can hopefully help himself. A little bit awkward there, but hey, do no more than is necessary to treat yourself. You'll be fine. <laughs> that was a funny chain of events. Doesn't 100% make sense, but hey. It works. We have no claims down there. I've become overwhelmed by stress. What stressed me? Uh, as I walk the corridors of my palace, frustrated by many of my courtiers, seem to be droning on and on about some problem they are having in Prague. With how things have been lately, I find it difficult to focus, but I am sure that no one would be saying such harsh things if they were not true. Something about the discussion sound familiar, though was it that law not my idea? Is this my fault? Saw this, I'm off to the whole house. Good lord. Lose 66 stress. Uh, I spend most of my time <laughs> God, in brothels. That's not going to help. Confident in sharing my problems with a close confidant. Came able to manage diplomacy and stress loss. That actually seems like a pretty solid trait. We'll take that. Hopefully it doesn't betray us. So what? Oh, we can do our pilgrim. For 100 gold. We're really not that pissed, so this is really the only way we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to go to something cheaper. Anything cheaper than 100? No. Okay, let's go to the Vatican. Oh, 100 gold. Is that prefer? Okay, standard, standard opening to that. You, no one needs me to read that every time. Uh, even when on even when on pilgrimage, the priests still hold mass every Sunday. It is held out in the open when no church is nearby. But early this morning, a storm rolled in and has not ceased. Undeterred, a zealous priest is standing out in the pouring rain, giving a sermon about perseverance in the face of adversity. Despite this, the size of his audience is rapidly dwindling as discouraged parents seek refuge from the torrential rain. What is a little rain for, to a faithful Catholic? You gain piety, chance to gain ill. We'll take the piety. We're kind of here for the piety. And honestly, if we if we got ill, 
I wouldn't be incredibly upset if we would end without a new kid. Oh, our queen died under house arrest. I will pretend to be upset about that. And, uh... See if we can find someone a little bit... better. So honestly, I feel like our heir has the absolute best. Maybe we don't want to remarry. Because I, I actually kind of like our heir, and our heir's wife is really good. Isn't she? Yeah, she's really good. Other than apparently she is in the brothels all the time. <laughs> I, hmm. That's, uh, unexpected. Uh, I am finally here, body and soul, at the Great Church of the Vatican, etc, etc. I am now known for my dedication to my faith, which opens up options, which is good. We also have a thousand renown, so we can unlock one of these. And I always struggle with this. Because Noble Veins seems just the best. Chance of inheriting good traits. Or congenital traits, plus 30. Chance of getting new ones, plus 30%. That's massive. And like, other ones are good, like, your people are better fighters. Your people uh, are more popular. Your people are more, people are more afraid of them. Uh, people are more likely to marry you because your, your family's known for its glory. You know, and this helps with prestige, popularity. Kin is actually pretty good, more likely to have kids, uh, better education traits, uh, fewer complications with pregnancies, you know, no proudness loss from age. Like, there's some great stuff down here. Uh, the education, people just like you better. Piety, monthly learning lifestyle, clergy opinion, base progress on counselor skill impact. Right, like these are all really solid. I think time is running in the background. But at the same time, right, like if you can just improve your chances of maintaining genius in your family lineage, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Marriage acceptance is kind of interesting. Vibrant court. I'm a little tempted to mix it up and maybe take this. I mean, I guess we could take some of the lower ones and not just go down. Okay, we're going to take Noble Veins. And maybe Convergent Bloodlines. And then I think we will move to a different tree. Oh, we're home. So that's good. However, that is a good place to call this episode. And then I talk about all these plans and I'm just going to throw out a warning there. I know this week comes out a new patch that's uh, providing some updates for some of the northern tribes. And I don't know if that's going to make our saving compatible or not. So this might be the end of this campaign or this campaign might continue. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see how that patch goes. So thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.